Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today I'm going to be playing some more Call of Cthulhu. We are in... back in the hospital, the Black Water... Dark Water Institute, whatever it was called. Um, but we're inhabiting the shoes of Dr. Marie Colden. Um, I think the conceit here is that Pierce is kind of looking through her eyes. So we're kind of still Pierce, we're kind of like seeing something medicine. from Marie's past. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. I'm guessing her medical knowledge is a bit better than Pierce's was, though. So we've got the objective. Get into Fuller's office, which we shall do, but uh, we're going to have a little look around as well. This place draws you in and Riverside. never lets you go. That's what it's called. Chronic insomnia. Like half the island. So one thing we found is a lot of people, like when we've been searching like through drawers and desks and stuff, uh, they have sleeping pills. And Pierce commented like, why does it seem like half the people on this island need sleeping pills? So, so there is something going on with the sleep. Hay fever. What's he doing here? Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. Oh. Oh, his feet. fusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Hot tech. Nurse? Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Okay. Let's keep checking out the patients. Quite interesting in terms of uh, what's going on around here. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ah, oh, the whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. Okay. She doesn't look particularly well. Why did nobody tell me about her admission? Zyrene Sanders. Uh, he recommends to take her down to the psychiatric wing in order to provide her with the quiet and rest that she needs. When did this... When was this happening? Mrs. Sanders? Is it happening now? She looks dead. Maybe she's just fast asleep. I see her breathing. She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. Check out the nurse's station. What have we got over here? What is the boiler room key doing here? The key to the boiler room. Can we take not it? Not where I expected to find oh, it. Alright, I get that, but... <laughs> can we not take it? Who are you? Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. So is the creature, the... Kind of the extra-dimensional being... The big fish thing that I think might be the miracle catch. There was something about being chased into people's dreams. Um, what's going on here? Dr. Colden, here you are at last. Here you are at this last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. He brought up to the We've psychiatric been following wing. The treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. 
We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. We'll get right on it. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth. Evidently because of such drooling. Yeah, we've all been there. Um. Oh, she's got... I can't... Oh. His binds left bloody wounds. So, Doctor, what should we do with this patient? Those basement brutes tied him up too tight, and now he's hurt. I keep trying to heal his wounds, but he reopens them. Do you have a diploma as a nurse? Excuse me? So take care of this man. Excuse me? What do I look like here? Okay. Well, there's, uh... Bradley, there's not Pierce within, though. That'd be kind of a... Dead fuck. Hawkins wing. Generous donor and unfailing support. Now, I don't know where um, the office we're supposed to break into is, but let's just uh, let's just roam around Gentlemen, a bit. Gentlemen, may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. She's fine. We checked on her. I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys <clears throat> are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. That's cool. Okay, so the kitchen. Anything good in here? It's people! Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Watch out for the water, Doctor. Watch out for the water. No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. Just going to power up uh, Pierce's medical knowledge. You can imagine that she doesn't Hopefully. dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. And just what are you two guessing the about? Time the water's cut off. It's a real show. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's, it's so temperamental, unfair. if I understand correctly. Okay, so there's going to be a distraction thing, I guess. I'm guessing Marie doesn't want to go through vents and stuff. Elizabeth? You all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Come now. Don't let that witch sap your morale. We're lacking in qualified personnel, and she knows it. Her petty punishments won't last forever. I'm trying, Doctor. I'm trying. It's just that sometimes I imagine she shuts down the water herself just for the pleasure of harassing me. Her time is much too precious for these kind of petty games. Anyway, I've learned my lesson. I'll hold my tongue next time. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. I 
don't really know what I'm looking for, but I'm just gonna see what there is to interact with, I think. Not much in here. Yeah, I really hope Pierce... It, is, it doesn't say anything, but then his uh, stats screen is currently locked, so... I'm hoping that once we come out of here, he might have he might have absorbed some knowledge through looking at the covers of those books. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. Oh, that's his office, is but it? rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. You old bag. Right, um, okay. Well, we've got to get in there, haven't we? So... Uh, there's other stuff to look at. There's the boiler room. Le Pharmacy. Let's go and have a look at that. The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. Is it you again? We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. I shut her in here and uh, <laughs> go into Fuller's office. So is she? She's not guarding the doorway there now, is she? Presumably. Oh no, she is. It's a different nurse. Okay. The door to the boiler room is locked. Where did I see that key? Yeah, when oh, I was trying to make yes. you pick it up. The office in Block B. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. In theory, this is where we hang the key to the boiler room. Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Thank you for your help, Doctor. I'll be going. Okay. Do, 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 do. So we're getting a, an idea of what we got to do, but uh, we might want to go and talk to Bradley. Checking if there's anything to interact with. Uh, been there. Bradley's over there. Hello? It's a quiet little town. Days go by, steady as ever. I wanted more for myself, but... I'm not ignoring... Well, I am ignoring him. Who are you? I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patients here. Where did my fiancé go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Are you going here? Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Anywho, uh, hello. Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about me. I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. Is that all? Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Tell me. I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. 
It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. With everything that happened to you these last days, it's no wonder you're feeling stressed. Maybe. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. Right. Okay, so we're gonna go and grab that key. Which was in the nurse's station, wasn't it? So that is... in this corner. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Where was the boiler room? Is it round? This, isn't it? Hygienic, like the rest of the place. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Not these tools. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, okay. Have I seen tools anywhere? Uh, probably not in ward or admin. Thing in there? The no, operating room is never accessible. I know we couldn't get in there before. I was wondering if that might have changed. Storage room. Oh, close the door. Fine. Uh, okay. What's this? I don't think there's anything else in there. Uh, this way? I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Okay, so Elizabeth was in the bathroom, wasn't she? Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. You'll be fine. Mrs. Donovan? I'm busy. Elizabeth, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. But it's about the water. What now? It's off. It's not my fault. Nothing is ever your fault. Okay, I let's told leave you them to control it. the flow. Even if I know it's not your strong point. I've Probably don't need to creep. At last. The missing files must be hidden here. 
All right, so we'll poke around old Dr. Fuller's the office. Stendhal syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. There's a phonograph there. Might be some cylinders to listen to. Dr. Fuller, 1849. Nothing in his desk, then. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. Oh, okay, it's that kind of puzzle, is it? I've oh. unlocked something. Hey! Patient files. I was right. Uh, yeah, we'll take those. Where's this go? I should go another way. All right, let's listen to this file then. I think that's it for this room. Conclusions, session number 17. Patient, Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory... This finger belonged to a woman. Mythos. Why keep it here? It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the price that comes with her exceptional gifts. There's hidden stuff in here. That's kind of what I'm looking around for. Uh, Why is Ethan on medication? Okay, that's, that's that. Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presumed that her blood was the key. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. I read that Charles was keeping secrets from him. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. I am prepared. Hawkins, Fitzroy and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It's fortunate that I had the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Usually there's something to examine. Ah. Of course. Sarah Hawkins is the connection. I must go back to the basement. You think that's a good idea? Uh, use this exit, maybe? No. Okay, well, I guess back out of the way we came in then. Uh, can't remember where I saw that door now. <clears throat> Here it is. So is, does that mean Sarah Hawkins' body is down there? Is that is that who was on that gurney in the 
reconstruction. Ooh. You want to go down here again? Not yet, at least. So, what's this door, then? Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. Oh dear. <laughs> Is that a future, past, present? I've no idea. If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. Talk, filthy thief! Oh, I swear I'll shoot! Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead! No. He was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you! Now you won't be able to escape his will! What did it show you? She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait! No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. Sure. All right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Now go! Rescue the Doctor! Thank you, Drake. Fade to black. Okay, cool. The book projected Pierce into the body of Dr. Colden. The detective watched helplessly as Bradley's friend carried out her inquiry. Confronted with the experiments of Fuller, she got into his office and discovered that the director of the Riverside Institute was hiding information on, if not the body, of Sarah Hawkins. But she was discovered by Fuller. Pierce must save her before it's too late. I pray that Colden is really here, and alive. So we're gonna snoop. Oh. This is volume one of that thing we've been finding. Uh, the diary of Reverend Wickwood's wife. Her husband John built the first Hawkins home called Hilltop at the end of the 17th century. They were among the first white colonists of the island. The previous inhabitants disappeared mysteriously three centuries ago. old diary. Actually, that's the point. Let me check um, his levels, because, yeah, medicine's gone up. I think we must have been... Um, all those books we found as Dr. Colden, I think they may they may have gone to hit towards his skill. We're also 3 out of 5 in the occultism, which is kind of cool. How many character points have I? I've got 4. I don't know if I can do a lot with that. I think I need, like, a minimum of 6 to level anything up now. So we'll, we'll hold on to those for a little while longer. Oh, yeah. What the... Fuller, too? I've got an achievement for discover all the small blue bottles. <laughs> okay. That's cool. What's this? Would I read the book? Yeah, I'm going to read the book. Although, I'm, I mean, 
Pierce is going slightly mad, but... Volume 3, Catalog, uh, Divinities and Stars, blah, 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 blah. I think we've read that bit before. Yeah. So what we got here? This... I don't think we've seen these things. Uh, this is... Oh, this is the knife we used, or the dagger we used to, uh... Turn the shambler back to the painting. Okay. So we're getting that up, but his, uh... Where's his sanity? Here's his sanity. Um... He's now shaken. Were we shaken before? Maybe we were. Um, I think additional... I was worried that every time we looked at the books it would add another thing, but I don't think it has done, so... Yeah, that's... I'm only a little bit mad. How old is Fuller, really? So what year is, is it, I forget what year this is taking place in. Was it 1917 or something? Uh, in any case, he, uh, yeah, he looks the same almost a hundred years earlier. So that's sus. Can I go out this door? I couldn't do it in, uh, Sarah, in Marie's play. Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. And we should probably sneak. Yeah, that's just, like, normal green fog coming out of the basement. It's just your standard green fog, I expect. <laughs> oh, no! Not again. My god. What is happening to me? I've gone mad. I guess I'll follow this. What was that? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. Um. So was that the wrong thing to do? A little confused. Yeah, maybe I maybe I don't go there. I don't know. I think it's sending us around in a loop. What if I try to go this way? No. Can't go those ways. I put the, I can't put the torch down. Oh, I can go around the hit. Oh, what was this? We can't interact with the hidey cupboards, which suggests I might not be actively chased by whatever horrible thing is around here. Uh, I don't really know where to go. Is there something here I should be afraid of? I'm breathing very heavily now. There is something here. Oh, let's just follow this. Is it exactly the same, I wonder? I don't know if that was there before. I don't remember looking. It's definitely walled off before. A little bit of guidance would be good because I'm prevent. 
Because I'm running out of oil as well. Um, I don't really know what to do apart from just keep following this trail, honestly. It does refill my light at least. Oh. What happened? Something has changed, but what? Okay. Pharmacy has got those protective symbols on it. Uh, I guess we should probably go in there. I'm assuming I still can't go in these bits, no. storage room. Still now in the toilet. Still walled off. Still can't go in there. I give up. What's different? Well, apart from the fact I can go in there and pick up a book that probably doesn't do an awful lot. Can I go this way now? No. Uh, what if I swap again? Because I've been in there, does that mean that's different? Oh. Something in here? Oh. Where have I seen this symbol? It has increased my lamp's brightness. Oh. Awaken and free me. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So, this looks like that will transport me back. I don't really want to do that. Need to get in there. Maybe I should switch lamps again? Where was the other lamp? No. We just do this. I think I might die because that lamp's going to run out. Ah, let's switch to that before we. or something terrible happens. Okay, uh, let's go in here. through there. Mm. Won't go through that vent. Okay, what am I missing here? What am I missing? At least there's no time limit on this particular lamp. I don't think there's anything in there. Oh, I thought I looked at this. Oh. What am I missing? The other thing 
I can think of is that uh, opening the door is what we needed to do. It kind of worked on there, didn't it? So, yeah, let's switch back. I should get a full lamp's worth. So now I can go in administration. Oh, yeah, okay. I want to be in there, though. Anything in here that I kind of need to interact with? Oh. Okay, I kind of get it. So, if i got to go back with the other lamp and open that door, then. It is trapped. Okay, so I could swap lamps again, but let's kind of see what symbol I need to get rid of. Was it this? It was this one, wasn't it? There's something in the bathroom. No, it must be this. Yeah, the lamp is going down pretty quick. I need to be a little bit a bit aware of that, I think. Yeah, so I need to, I think I need to run back and switch lamps again. And that should um I should have a door or something I need to open here, I guess. Okay, but there, sh there probably is a door here that I've got to open. Anything in here? Open that. Open that. Thing in there. I didn't see another door. Probably go and switch lamps again, but I, need to be, I, I think I will probably die and maybe have to redo the entire section if that lamp runs out. Which is mostly what I'm afraid of. <laughs> um, so I guess let's follow the trail. And go this way. There. Ooh. Into block B. How will I get into block B? Can't dispel you, can I? I wonder if there's another one. <laughs> Similar type to the last one I dispelled. That, that lamp's going down pretty quick, so let's, uh, let's switch back. Uh. Just to block B again. Need to get in there. Can't get through that. Are there other entrances to block B? Oh. Is this open now? Aha! Okay. That's 
the one. Oh. It's our little friend the Shambler. I really hope there's been... I haven't seen if there's been any milestone saves here, but I really hope there... I hope there has. You are confronting powers that surpass you. Let's say game saved, so that's good. Uh, okay, well, let's follow it. Let's see where it takes us. Oh, I can open this now. pausing to look at stuff now because like a little bit concerned about this light right now. It did save though so I'm less worried now that I know I'm not going to lose a massive amount of progress if I die. Shambler's going to get us because I've, I've completely lost track of where I am. Uh. Oh! <laughs> was that where I was supposed to... Oh. I don't know. Yeah, I, I was expecting that to be fair. Um... So let's switch to this one. Let's have a little look around uh, in case there's anything I need to kind of activate with this one now. I just, uh, I complete, I got completely turned around and had no idea where I was and there wasn't enough light to keep it going. Okay, but this is open now. Have a look around. Go. Hi. <laughs> Good luck, Marie. No, it seems we can't do that. Oh, here we go. Back into Fuller's office. Probably check this out completely, but uh, yeah, maybe we can switch our lamps now. So this is the other side of that admin wing. Let's just have a little look around here. So we've basically got to do a full lap of the hospital to get to the other side of that barrier, as far as I can tell. Which should be possible now. We're just going to have to hot foot it because of the light. Basically, just get to the other side of that wall. Right. Run, run, run. Jesus. <laughs> that actually made me jump. Uh. Yeah, but this is where we're going, isn't it? This is Fuller's office. 
What do I need to do in here? Oh. Ah. Oh. That made me, uh, yeah, like I said, that made me jump. I don't think we need to dispel any of those. Well, I mean, we could. Make it easier to get around, but... We've essentially... Uh, Unlocked everything now. Um, yeah, let's do this one too. It looks like things are back to normal. <laughs> you got me, Shambler. You got me. I'll admit it. <laughs> The last thing Pierce wants to do is come back here. Now this is the door Marie went in. I wonder if I should try the other one. Or even this one. I'm going to try the other one and see what happens. I kind of suspected it was probably locked. Okay. Glad I checked, though. Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll... Have a look. It doesn't feel quite real, still. I might just keep walking down and just see what happens. What's going on? It never ends. Yeah, it feels like it's repeating. There's like a little flicker in the light level. There. So I think that's the repeat. Is there something I should be doing? Hard to know if it'll run out eventually or just keep going forever. Ah, it's it's a me. Damnation. That's that's me. Oh no. Oh god. Back in the back of the nut house. I got. Uh. Keep it together, Pierce. Don't really know what to do, though. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is cool. It's uh, yeah, it's getting me. I'm quite sure what to expect. Let's run to Colden though. Pierce, I found her. I finally know what's going on. You must live and find the truth. It is already too late for me. Uh. Colden, <laughs> what's going on? Was it a hallucination? Oh no, what's he doing to her? Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. No, it can't be. No, you son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for your friend. You should envy her. Murder! This madness must stop! What did he do to her? Colden? <sighs> yeah, I don't have my torch. Hmm. 
Are we supposed to just leave? He wasn't looking this way before. He gave him the gold, and I, the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I'm here, but no. No. Let's get you out of here. It comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. A violent living, vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. What the? Valid San requirements. What? Uh, I yeah? have seen the same color. It was not as vivid as you said. A pale copy. A discarded spawn. Do you know what it was? Tell me. I can't. We should not call his name. Terrible, terrible consequences. All right. Come with me. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go before your husband finds us. Oh, san sanity. I'm cr was I was crazy studio. enough to say <laughs> to what? say that. You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. Wow. Okay. Let's follow Sarah then. This is probably all paint. <laughs> the men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. Okay. Are we waiting? Need me to go first? What the? Oh no! This way! Punch, punch, punch! <laughs> yeah. 
think that was probably a stealth section. Uh, I didn't realize. Um, so we'll and just uh, we'll wait where Sarah tells us to wait what? this time. You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. Yeah, we'll wait here. Maybe. Maybe they go by? It's a crouch. What? Ah. The? Oh no. What are you doing? Hey. We're supposed to run back. Okay. Okay, this time I think we run across the hallway. <laughs> I was looking for somewhere to hide. Um I think instead it's just uh we have to run throughout the rest of the facility. It was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. Of course. The men in white are coming. Oh no. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. This time I'm going to run that way. What the? Oh no. She's there now. Okay, that wasn't as hard as I made it look. <laughs> Wait, the machine. It's the green, the decaying one. The gas? Yes, it's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it. All right, I'm gonna blow this thing up again probably. I'd be better off finding a tool. Another tool? Okay. It's probably... Right. Hang on, have I got my... Aha! Oh, now I put it away. Aha! Perfect. That should do it. Let's move. Uh oh. Family reunion. Where the hell do you think you're going, woman? I'm your puppet no more, you bastard! You're my wife, my wife. You owe me obedience. Leave her alone! We're leaving this crazy island. You are going nowhere. Don't get between me and my wife. Identity 
Her power is what threatens her. What? Sarah has seen things, has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? Magic. The bookstore. How do you know that? It does not matter. Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave Dark Water, she would still hear his call. And the Count will always be here, waiting for her. Then we get rid of its members. You are out of your league, Detective. They control the whole island. She will finally surrender to his power, and the world will fall with her. Don't! No one can escape the wheel of destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah. Maybe old Charles wasn't such a bad guy after all. After the death of Colden, Pierce, victim of hallucinations, advanced inside the Riverside Institute to the point of discovering Sarah Hawkins alive, prisoner of Dr. Fuller. The last confrontation between Charles and his wife has revealed that the man, under his monstrous appearance, tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce, if Sarah succumbs to the lure of the occult, she will lose all free will, allowing the cult to bring its plan to fruition, summon an ancient and evil god. Henceforth, Pierce must know more about Sarah Hawkins' intentions and find a way to protect her. No parent should have to bury their child, knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. My work was what lured me here in the first place. It began showing me things. Things I never should have been. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? <clears throat> I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. You're not going anywhere. 
It's over now. It's like Sarah and Algernon down there talking. Um, we'll go and speak to them in a bit, though. So I'll just say thanks very much for watching this episode of Call of Cthulhu. Quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of stuff happening in this one. Um, obviously, we still need to stop the cult, um, but this probably will lead us into that. But uh, hopefully, you did. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. If you did, if you could hit that thumbs up button, that'd be great. If you could also leave me a comment, let me know what you think about the game so far. This episode in particular, always great to hear your thoughts. And if you're watching this and not yet subscribed to the channel, it would be amazing if you could. So thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.